Mm. Okay, Pamela, I just got back from a campus swing. I've been at Logan, I've been at Davenport, I've been uh, to Palmer, Florida, I was at Cleveland at Kansas City. So, the students, they're scared. They're afraid they can't get a practice open. They're hearing horror stories that people aren't making it. So I want to get together this afternoon and talk to you a little bit about what we are actually seeing in our Quick Start program, because that's not what we're seeing. No, no not at all, Shelly. In fact, we are seeing some really awesome stuff right now. The climate for opening a practice and being a chiropractor is amazing. There's a lot of good stuff going on. So in fact, um, just recently, we have a client who got a $116,000 loan. 116. 116. Oh no, there's here and you can't get loans. <laughs> oh yeah, you can. So okay. recent graduate, not, this isn't a doctor who's been in practice. He just graduated. 116,000, he did have to come up with 10% down. So about $15,000. So 10%, that's not, no, that's that doable. Where'd he get it? Where'd he get 10, where'd he get 10%? He pulled together a little bit of savings and then family and friends borrowed. Um, no co-signer, nothing else. He's straight out of school. So, you know, everybody likes to say, oh, you have to have experience or you have to be in practice for so many years. That's not what we're seeing at all. Not, a, not no. true at all. Okay. So tell what, 116? 116, he's ready to go. He'll be opening in a week. Pretty nice practice for 116,000. Yes, fully built out and furnished and he's got working capital um he's been marketing so he's got new patients on the books already he's how many how many do um i think he's up to 10 right now awesome for next week before so he opens before the door he he's got 10 on the book okay. yep. that's the way to start the practice yep so so that's um him and then matt smith dr matt smith is one of our clients over in tennessee yeah um, another student graduate um precepted an integrity office open a practice a full practice beautiful um, he has been open three months and is seeing 400 visits a month. Okay, he's been open three months and three seeing months. 400 visits yep, a month. Yes, he opened in March. Pamela, I talk to doctors all the time that oh. have been open years, years, 10, 15 years, and they aren't seeing 400. Yeah, but you are with Integrity yeah. Quick Start. You will, and you, and we do. Um, not only is he seeing 400, which in itself is amazing, but he's collecting 17 thousand dollars a month. That's what we like to do is collect right. the money when his overheads around seven to eight and seven to eight thousand overhead that's pretty normal that's mm -hmm. usually what we're seeing out there is yeah. is in the overhead is that right yeah you figure in your rent your staffing marketing budget utilities um loan payment if you've got one that kind of stuff <clears throat> and seven to eight thousand is pretty normal yep unless you're in a really high rent area but but you can get started for that. Yeah, oh yeah. And so he's profiting like $10,000 a month. He gets to go home with $10,000 a month. What, six, nine months after graduating? Wow, that's, mm -hmm. I wish I would have done that when I got out of school. <laughs> Me too. That would have been a good start. Who else, who else are we, you know, that's just one. Everybody oh, would yeah. say, oh yeah, everybody's got one. So, you know, we don't have a lot of clients who have money. We have a lot who don't have money. A lot of students we work with do not have the means to find fifteen thousand dollars. Well, when you're coming out of school with debt of one hundred and fifty to two fifty, mm -hmm. two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, that's a lot of debt. It I, is. I, I, you're telling me that they can get loans when they have debt. They can. It. You can have two hundred thousand dollars or more of student loan debt, no cosigner, no business experience, and go and get a loan. It's possible. I see it every week, it, every multiple times a week. So yes, you can. They're, nobody's trying. They're just scared that they can't get it and they don't know how to get it. Right. But we see this all the time. We see it all the time. But if you can't, you've got bad credit, you've got no savings, you can't get financing. You're one of the few that just, there's no way possible. We can still get them open. We still get them open. Um, we have a client who joined us a few months before graduating, was able to start working the system, know what he needed to do. He knew his expenses. He needed to cover $5,500 a month. That okay. was his. So he had to cover 5500 5, That's his household expenses? Part of them, yep. His wife covers the other part. And his rent, no staff starting out, we can't okay. afford it. Okay. A little bit of marketing budget. Okay. We can and do that. And that's it. That's what he has. So we got to cover 5500 Yep. So how are we going to do that? Um, so he, he opened up and he knew he had to start seeing patients and get there. He had just a little bit of savings. He didn't get a bank loan because he, he didn't have anything. And I'm talking maybe a couple thousand dollars in savings. Okay. Um, so he saw about 50 visits the first month. 
It's about 2,000 in collections. So he was able to cover most of his clinic overhead that first month, almost all of it. So he almost covered his overhead in that first month. Right, because it's pretty pretty low overhead starting out. No staff, no fancy stuff. That's doable. Going. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. definitely oh, yeah. doable. Yeah, and uh, second month he was up to about 80 visits and he's on track for about 120 now, which means he will be covering his overhead, personal and clinic expenses. Three months in? Three months and in. And he's covering his overhead. He's covering things and he didn't have a loan. He didn't um, get a bunch of fancy equipment. Um, he doesn't have a huge marketing budget, but he does what we tell him to do. You know, when you're reading the business books, when you're reading, you know, out there in the business world, mm -hmm. it says most businesses don't make a profit for five years. You're not going to profit for five years. Well, we're not seeing that with our integrity students at all. They have to make a profit three months, three months in. Three months in. That's three months average. in, you got to average profit. Mm -hmm. You have to. You have to because they can't live without it. Nope. They, they've got to make their money. Yep. We're not in a world where you're going to get a year's worth of working capital or even six months. Or like we see for 80% of the people we work with, you're not going to have any working capital and you got to make it work. And we can do that. We do. We, we do started out day. all the time. Yep. So what else are you hearing? Come on, tell me some more because um, there's two. Let's get some more. So out over here. in Iowa, Dr. Swears was a Logan rep for us. She graduated, opened her practice and she's not quite three months in, close to 150 visits and really close to covering her overhead. I mean, just waiting for some insurance checks and we'll be good to go. So Excellent. Excellent. Yep. Iowa. Iowa. We can do it in Iowa. We can, do it, we can Iowa. do it in Tennessee. We can do it in New York. We can do it in New York. 